Hi, and welcome back to another episode on how to defend. So over here, I have QRadar running. So QRadar is a security monitoring platform, and we went through a couple of videos on it. In fact, we went through one on SIEM, which is Security Intelligence and Events Monitoring Platform. So what it does is that it will actually collect all this different data across the entire enterprise network and look out for potential flaws, potential risks, potential vulnerabilities, and are there any indicators of attacks or compromise that are happening in the network? So here we have QRadar. So QRadar is a security monitoring platform that you can easily get for your enterprise or even for your home network through the community edition that I'm running over here as well. So let me zoom in a little so it's easier for you to see. So over here, this is the dashboard that we'll get once we're in QRadar security monitoring platform. So a lot of all these results that we're seeing are in different kind of formats. So one of those key formats is of course table base. So table base formats, if we go under offenses tab, so offenses will get triggered whenever there are any kind of attacks that are going on in your environment. So you can very quickly have a glance of what is happening in your enterprise network. So here we can see all these different table formats. But what I really want to introduce to you is a new kind of format. So there is a app that you can actually easily get for your curator platform and it's on the most right. So this is called the Pulse app. So let us go ahead and click onto the Pulse app. So with the Pulse app, it helps us visualize graphically what is going on in your enterprise network. So over here, just like the offenses that we saw earlier, in this case, we can see the different kind of time span and we can see the geographical location of how the attacks are going, which servers is it going after you. So if you're running a large security operation center that has multiple IT assets across the world, what you really want is a bird's eye view of what's going on, where are the attacks, which servers are affected, is my key personnel, my key data are being compromised, are they being uploaded to Google Drive, OneDrive, and all this personal drives. So immediately from the power set, we can see in details what's happening. So we have the different breakdowns of the criticality and the magnitude of the different kind of attacks. So we can see those in one single glance. And as we scroll down, we have pie charts and we got histograms to look at the different kind of data, especially in terms of top log sources as well as events per user. And what's really interesting is we have the different kind of dashboard. So we got a summary view and we got events and flow matrix, miscellaneous metrics, offense overview. So we can go and click on that and look at all these offenses that has been triggered in your enterprise environment. Is there a huge spike in a different kind of attack that goes into your enterprise? Can we do further fine tuning of what's going on? So if you look on the left side, we also have the most recent offenses. So we can actually go ahead and click on those. So that would open up immediately more details about this particular attack. So we can see the magnitude, we can see the different events, we can see whether this is assigned to any user and we can see all these different details. We can see the source, destination IP addresses and many, many of these data. So we can zoom in further into the details of all these different offenses and look at what are the targets? What are the offenses being triggered? So all these are great ways for us to have a bird's eye view of what's going on. So I really encourage you to look at all the different apps that are available on the Curator store. So that is going to be a great way for you to look at apps that can extend the features and functionalities of your Curator platform. So hopefully you learned something valuable today. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll try my best to answer any of your queries. And remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel so that you can be kept abreast of the latest cybersecurity tutorial. Thank you so much once again for watching.